thank you for that sweet hug that my nine-year-old gave me when I was like, bah! you know, starting to lose it for the 10th time today. Hey guys, welcome back to Makeaway Life Coaching. This is Sarah, I'm your life coach. Okay, last self-care episode, how to get through the pandemic in healthy ways with self-care. Um, and today we're going to be talking about your spiritual quadrant, okay? Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about with quadrants, go back and watch our um, self-care intro. We went into it in detail. Um, if you would like an extensive list of self-care ideas, go ahead and subscribe to our website, makeawaylifecoaching.com. At the bottom, you'll see the subscribe. Um, it is a great list. I put a lot of effort into that darn thing and it went exclusively to our email subscribers. I only will email you once a month and it will, I promise you it'll be stuff you really like. Okay. All right. Spiritual quadrant. Here's the thing that I know to be true. Uh, my entire twenties and chunk of my thirties, um, was full of angst and restlessness. I felt restless like all the time. I never really felt a deep sense of satisfaction. Um, I never felt there. Do you know what I mean? I always felt like I was on the road to there, but I never got there. Um, and I don't, I don't know. That was a really hard time for me. I never felt settled and truly content. Looking back, I know why. My spiritual quadrant was empty. Okay. We have four parts of ourselves and they all need attention. So let this video and podcast be your inspiration to get your spiritual quadrant in health. You will have less restlessness and less angst and more contentment by doing so. Okay. Super simple. If you want the extensive list, it's really good. Subscribe to the website, makeawaylifecoaching.com. But for now, let's just get into a few things. Number one, you can talk to God. That's something you can do for your spiritual quadrant. That's called praying, okay? Praying, like some of us, I grew up Catholic, we had these big long prayers you had to know. That's not what it really means. Um, praying just means talking to God. Um, Anne Lamott wrote, wrote a great book called Help Thanks Wow. The three basic prayers you need are help, God, help, God, thanks, and God, wow, you know, when, when like he knocks your socks off. So that's it. Just like kind of open up a communication with God. It has helped me so much. I, I know it'll help you too, okay? Open up the lines of communication. He's waiting to connect with you. Number two, stream a church service. I'm a big proponent of church. Um, I think it's a great time to gain wisdom and reflection and have an amazing community, uh, which is something we're lacking nowadays because um, Facebook and Instagram are not real communities. They're fake. <laughs> That's fake news. Um, okay, so stream a church service. Um, there's 8 million. Every single church in the world is streaming right now. So just go find one and watch it. If you don't like that one, find another one that same day or the next week. Um, next, this is something I'm new to. <laughs> I used to not like nature because I have allergies and bugs love me. And so it was always a big pain to be out in nature. But the older I get, the more I enjoy connecting with God's creation. Okay. That's what being in nature is. So this is so simple. You can get fancy and go on a, a hike if you're allowed to where you live. Um, or you can get fancy and go to the beach or you can get fancy and do forest bathing, which is something I think sounds cool, but I haven't done. Um, but it's also really simple. Like you can go sit in your backyard with a cup of coffee and enjoy the birds. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but um, spring birds go crazy and it's so wonderful to see them flying around doing crazy things. And they're so noisy right now with their bird song and it's beautiful. I don't know, I'm 42 and I'm just starting to appreciate the bird thing. Um, so that's my recommendation. Keep it simple. Just tell your children, you stay indoors. I'm gonna go take a break outdoors with the birds and um, just enjoy it. Okay, that's God's creation and it fills up your spiritual quadrant. Last idea, create a gratitude journal. <laughs> the cool thing, thank you Mother Oprah for teaching me this in high school, although I didn't really listen to you. And even now I do it sporadically, let's just be real. But a gratitude journal is like a really, really helpful thing to do at a time like this because just pick five things and every night you know before bed I'm going to write down those five things. Or if you're somebody who's going to fall asleep, then do it earlier in the day. But what's so beautiful about it is it makes you attuned all day to knowing you need to look for the blessings in your life. Okay. And then when you write your list, 
I don't know. I've talked about this before. I live in California and everyone's like, thank you universe for the bird song. All right, cool, whatever. But uh, if you want it to tie into your spiritual quadrant, then I would be like, hey God, thank you for that 10 minutes outside with the birds. Like you're a pretty cool creator and that was really awesome. And it was just like, so it really filled me up. So thank you. Thank you for that sweet hug that my nine year old gave me when I was like, bah! you know, starting to lose it for the 10th time today. Um, that kind of thing. Okay. It just trains your brain to look for the blessing, which is just going to really help change your perspective. Okay. That concludes our self-care quadrant series. Um, come back next week. We're going to be getting into some really good stuff about to help you through this time. Um, in the meantime, subscribe to our website, makeawaylifecoaching.com. At the bottom, you'll see the subscribe button. Um, and I will email you once a month with something really amazing that only goes to our email subscribers. Um, and I promise you, you don't want to miss it. You can also subscribe if you're on YouTube, subscribe there. And um, if you're on Anchor, subscribe there. All right, you guys take care. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.